Hi, this is Vicki Adkins again. Um, I've got uh, another message here that I would like to share with you all. I, I'm going to read it to you because it's too long for me to... I, I want to make sure I tell you everything that... I I'm just want to make sure that I am obedient in <laughs> giving this whole message to you. It's going to take a few minutes, so um, I want to encourage you just to sit back and you may go back and listen to it uh, more than once. The thing about it is... For some people, there's going to be, there there will be things in this message from the Lord that apply, and there may be things that do not apply, that may have applied in the past, but uh, he gave me this a number of years ago and told me that it was for, I thought it was just for one person when he gave it to me, and he said, no, this was for people in the body of Christ, and so um, I'm going to read it to you, and I've, uh, well, I'm just going to, you just pray, ask the Lord. If this is him, it's called my beloved. I, I called it that because that's how he started it. My beloved, I call you my beloved for indeed you are one. I cherish and adore your heart beats because I tell it to beat. You have eyes to see the beauty of life all around you. This is the beauty that I have created. And this is the desire that I have for you. Every day I call you to open your eyes and see the beauty. Breathe deeply the fragrance of me in the life I have given you. Listen to the sound of my creation as you go about your daily tasks. Do not wonder if I'm with you every moment of the day, for I am. There's never a time that I'm not aware of your needs, hurts, and desires. There's never a time when you are out of my sight or my mind. I watch everything you do each day, and I long for you to choose joy in the midst of your trials. I long for you to be encouraged in the knowledge that you already possess, knowledge that I've given you the ability to do everything through the strength that flows from me. You wonder why some things have happened and look to the wrong sources for their causes. I am your purpose in this life. I have allowed and even called some things into being for my own purposes for you. I have called you and you have wrestled in your mind with the actions of others. You've wondered what I what could have been done different, differently. That is not the point, beloved. You have been called by me to come away. We have places to go, you and I, and you must be willing to trust me in this or we will not be able to move forward together with joy and hope into the plans I've made for your future. I'm calling you to come closer still in our relationship, to trust me in what your life has become for now, as well as for the things which you cannot see that lie ahead for you. This journey we are going on will be different from what you've experienced in the past. I'm taking you places you did not know you would be going, but you will be pleasantly surprised when you get there. When you are tempted to be discouraged or depressed, I ask you to remember the rejection I endured by my creation. Do not wonder any longer about your own rejection in this life. You know that I've told you in my word and through my word that you'll be rejected and despised by men because you belong to me. Do you wonder why? Go back and read again where I've said that they would reject you if they have rejected me. Read again where I've said that the servant is not greater than the master. Read those words with greater understanding of the depth of my suffering, knowing that it is for your own good that you have endured these things. You have a greater ability to understand more clearly the pain and suffering of your Lord as you embrace the cross you bear now. Do not despise the things you've been through. Embrace this season in your life, for I am teaching you many things. Allow your heart to be and remain soft towards me. Your adversary has been roaring about like a lion see seeking whom he may devour, and he desires to devour you. But I call you to remember that he's not a real lion. He's a liar and a thief. I call you to remember that his power was destroyed when I took back the keys of death and hell. I call you to remember that you are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against spiritual wickedness and rulers, against principalities and powers in high places. I call you to remember that those principalities, rulers, and powers are not willing that you should know they exist, but prefer instead to hide in darkness and try to convince you that people are your real problem. I call you to remember that I am the Lion of Judah. I am the first and the last. I am your Savior, your Prince, and your King. I am the Father of your children. I am the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. I am and I will always be I am. No one can change that. 
There's no other God but me. I'm here for you today and tomorrow. I'm here to comfort you, to strengthen and encourage you. I'm here to reveal myself to you in ways you never imagined. I am much more than you can comprehend in your finite little mind. I am and will always be your defender and protector, your high tower, your very best friend. Run to me, beloved. I am the safe place for you to hide. Hide in me, cry to me, shout to me, pour out your heart to me. I am and you belong to me. Again, I say to you, I'm calling you away. Come away with me, beloved. Come and learn more of me. I have the rest your soul needs. I have the rest your wounded spirit cries out for. Remember that my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You have sought to carry the burdens of others for many years, but dear beloved, I am the one with the shoulders on which those burdens can be easily borne. I am the good shepherd and I am here waiting for you to cast your cares on me, for I care for you. These words are not just nice platitudes for quoting from the pulpits, but so many of those who occupy positions of authority in the churches do not understand the truth of these words. It is far easier for men to carry their own positions than to release control and surrender their authority to me. The temptation to have honor and power are built into the soulish realms of carnal man. However, unless the soul of a man or woman submits to my will and allows itself to be placed under the authority of my spirit, there will be no true rest for the soul and the people will suffer. Do not give in to the temptation to let your soul rule any longer. Your spirit man must learn to tell your soul to sit down and shut up so that you can endure the trials, temptations, and rejection of this world. Those things will always be there, beloved. You must learn to overcome them by my spirit and by the blood of the Lamb. I have given you the keys of understanding in some areas through the written words in the Bible, but you must come to me for greater understanding of my ways. Remember that I've said in my word that my Holy Spirit would come to be with you and teach you everything you need to know. When you ask, when you read, ask me to speak to you. Ask me to open my word to you and then listen as Holy Spirit speaks to you. Hold on to the truth you have learned in my word, the Bible, and realize that the Bible is my book, but I am the author. Spend your time with me no matter what you are doing so that I can teach you by my spirit. Remember that the government is on my shoulders and that it should be thus in the church. Remember that all will give an accounting before me and I will judge with wisdom, mercy, justice, grace, and holiness. Pray for those who have abused or misused their authority in your life. Pray that I will extend mercy and bring, to, bring them to understanding and conviction about their sins so that they see the need for repentance. Ask me to soften their hearts. You must never judge their hearts, for you cannot see clearly into their motives or understand why they respond in the ways they do. Know this, I do not desire to lose one of them. They are all precious to me, and I continue to labor with them even as I labor with you. That labor is born out of love, beloved. Choose to love those who have hurt you. Choose to let go of the anger that has tempted you to become bitter towards others and even tempted you to turn away from me. Pray also that I will bring gl greater clarity to you of your sins so that I can extend the same mercy to you that I ask you to extend to others. Ask me to show you your own sin, so that you can humble yourselves in those times when the enemy tempts you to rise up in pride or anger against others because of the sins and weaknesses in their lives. Repent. Turn away from your anger and do not allow the seeds of bitterness to find place in you. I do not say these words to you for any reason but one. It is because of my profound love for you, beloved. You must learn to forgive and let go completely of the sins of others, whether they've sinned against you, your loved ones, or those you care about. Remember, all have sinned and fallen short of my glory. You cannot afford to allow any one sin to cause you to pass judgment. You must leave that to me. You must freely forgive, freely, freely, freely forgive. I have forgiven you for what my son endured on the cross for you, the beatings, the rejection, the nails, the sin. I laid all of it on him for you, beloved. I did it because I desire that you will be with me always, not just when things are going smoothly for you. Forgive, forgive, 
forgive so that the blood of the lamb can cover you completely. Learn that I too hate the blows of the enemy against my children and I will render judgment. He knows that his time is short and his fury has been unleashed on all people, but you must not let his winds of hate blow you away. Have you allowed yourself and your identity to become wrapped up in your position or circumstances in life? Do you think that was ever my plan for you? I do not love you based on your performance or your situation. In your mind, you know that is true. But your heart has not yet comprehended that I love you because you are mine. I loved the very idea of you so much that I chose to create you. Yes, I can see all your faults. I know every weakness and sin you wrestle with. Your value to me is not based on your performance, beloved. Your value is based on the fact that I love you. You cannot earn that love, nor can you reason it out. Remember, all things are in me. I loved you before you were born, and I saw you before you were created. I knew you even as a mother knows the child she carries in her womb before that child ever sees the first light of day. The difference is that I am God, and I saw all of your days before you experienced the first breath in your little lungs or the first thought in your little brain. You are not loved because you chose me, beloved. I chose you, remember? I chose you and called you. You answered me because I placed the longing in your heart, a longing that you did not understand, but one that you cannot deny exists. My plans for you are not finished. In that, you must rest assured. Know also that I chose you and called you out of the depths of my love for you. I wanted you from the beginning, beloved. I want you still. Do you look around and wonder what is next? Do you feel somewhat lost right now? You are not lost. You are exactly where I want you. This is our time. Do not do not miss it. Do not look at the theology you have been taught by men and think that I am not able to speak with you in this way. Through the weak vessel I have chosen to pen these words from me to you. It is time for your little mind to grow. It is time for you to begin to trust me in ways that are foreign to you and the teachings that you have received from men. Know that some of what you have learned has been from me, but there have also been teachings you received that came from men and not from me. Remember the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Remember also the tree of life. I am the tree of life. Many men and women, many pastors and theologians eat from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. They have chosen the lesser of the two choices available to them in this. They reason in their own minds and develop human Christian theology that comes from their understanding rather than choosing to come to me, their source, and eat from the tree of life. They do not always rightly divide my words, and they stand in judgment of those individuals and beliefs that do not fit their doctrines. I tell you... I am the doctrine. I am the tree of life from which you are called to eat. You will not understand, you will not always understand, even as you question now some of the things that you are hearing. You are still a child, and no matter how old you become or how long you live with me in eternity, you will never know everything I know. Remember, I said that you must become as a little child. You cannot see that you are a little child to me. You think that you have grown up, and you do not understand that I want you to be a little child. I want you to learn to depend on me and trust me for what I am doing in your life. I want you to grow up and become a little child. Remember, it is written that if you will trust me with trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, but will instead acknowledge me in all your ways, I will direct your paths. Do you not know that I direct your paths, beloved? Do you not understand that the paths I will lead you on are filled with joy as well as sorrow, with rejection as well as acceptance and love? Do you only see a half-empty glass? Wake up, wake up. Wake up, sleepy child of mine. I have called you. I have chosen you and called you by name. I am your father. I am your dad. Rejoice in the knowledge that I still have many wonderful places for you to go and many beautiful things for you to see. You will laugh and cry with me. You will understand more about me as you step out of religion and tradition and experience me instead. You will grow up to become a little child as you embrace me and my love for you each day. See me and the people around you, for I am there. See me in the trials you are enduring and will endure in the future, for I will be there with you also. Do not believe the enemy anymore. I have not rejected you. 
Your acceptance is found in me. I am your security. Let the plans I have for you cause to rejoice even though you don't have any idea what they are. I am delighted when my children praise me and adore me when their lives look like they are falling apart. My passion for my little ones who are suffering and struggling but still worshiping and thanking me blesses my heart, beloved. Do you think I can look over, oh, do you think I can overlook those little ones and turn a deaf ear to their cries? Do you think that you can love your children more than I love mine? Do you know that you are my little child, my little one, and that I hear your cries? Do you think I cannot see when you turn away, often expecting to be rejected by others? Do you think that I don't know you also expect to be rejected by me? Do you think that I cannot see that you believe I have turned away from you, disappointed in who you are? Do you think I've been surprised by the events in your life or that I allow difficult things to come your way in order to punish you? Do you think I ask you these questions without knowing the answers of your heart? Do you think I don't know the desires of your heart? Do you not know that it is my joy and delight to give you the desires of your heart? When will you let go of your past and step with me into this moment today? When will you be ready to trust me for what has been? Do you know there are times that I wrap my arms around you to comfort you? Do you know that I'm right here with you right now? Do you know that I am deeply and profoundly wonderfully and passionately in love with you. Turn your eyes to me. Keep them here on me. When you find yourself looking down or seeking the acceptance of others, remember that I am the only acceptance you will ever need. Lift up your eyes to the hills. Your help comes from me. I am and will be with you always. Bring these words to me, little one. The enemy will try to steal them from you, but I will confirm them to you daily as you come to me. You will see your self-esteem, which is found in me, begin to grow as you take hold of my hand and learn from me, leaning only on me for the sufficiency and provision you need. Remember what I open, no one can shut, and what I shut, no one can open. Turn, turn, turn turn. This is the season for you to turn. Turn to me. Turn away from the lies. Turn away from a closed and wounded heart to an open and healed one. This will come to you as you take hold of my hand and turn to me anew. Treasure these words of mine, beloved. Seek me often for the refreshing you need every day. Remember that my mercies are new every morning. Remember, I came so that you would have more abundant life. Do not waste the opportunity to enjoy your life abundantly on this side of heaven by choosing to listen to the lies or the enemy of the enemy or by living in the hurts and disappointments of the past. Listen to me, follow me, and learn from me. I will fill your days with wonder. And remember this, even as it is written in my word, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the earth. And that is from our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. I... Um, I encourage you to ta- uh, to do what the counsel he gave us in this was to take is to take the words to him and ask him if that's from him. Some of those things in there may be for you. Some of them may not. But uh, the good news is that God is faithful. His spirit will help us understand what we need to understand about about what is his and what is not his. So um, I got a dog back here behind me. I think he's snoring. <laughs> um, so I just want to, I'm going to thank you for coming and uh, listening to my, uh, watching my videos. I thank you so much. I really believe the Lord's blessed me so much with so many wonderful things that he's taught me. And I, and I appreciate the opportunity to be able to share those things with you. I appreciate the opportunity to share the dreams and the visions and the words and just the things he's taught me sometimes because I've out of my own stupidity, I've learned some things. So thank you so much again for coming. My name is Vicki Adkins. Um, you can go to my website. It's Vicki Adkins.com. That's V I C K Y A D K I N S.com. Please share these videos. If uh, you feel the Lord is leading you to do that, you never know there sometimes it's just a sentence here or there that's that what that is what we need i learned a long time ago to just listen for wherever god may be speaking because sometimes we just want it to be out of a pastor the words coming from a pastor and that's the only person we trust or whatever but god is he uses the weak things of the earth <laughs> and praise god i'm one of those weak things 
He uses the weak things of the earth to confound the wise. That's what he says in his word. And he gives us things that uh, are there to build us up, to strengthen us, to you know, correct us when we need it. I firmly, solidly believe as just as much as God tells us repeatedly, and we hear it out of so many people's mouths today, that he loves us. He, I firmly believe that there is also the part of him that says he wants a holy people. He wants a people that uh, don't just say that they believe Jesus is the Christ, but uh, because it says in the book of James, even it says that devils also believe and they tremble. So that doesn't really do a whole lot right there to say you believe the the understanding that I have is that he wants a people that will follow hard after him that we that will obey him that will serve him that will seek him uh, his promise is that if we do that if we seek him we're going to find him if we knock the door is going to be open he's he is a good loving father I love the verse in Proverbs and I I I quote it often just because it really blesses me and helps me stay, you know, aware of where I need to be, which is uh, the scripture that says uh, it is the glory of God to hide a matter and it is the honor or glory of kings to search a matter out. God's looking for people that are coming to him and saying, what is it? Show me, teach me, tell me, use me, have your way. Just, you know, I surrender myself to you, Father. I think. I'm grateful that the Lord continues to talk to us today and that, of course, he would. Of course, he would. He's our father. Um, Any good father is going to talk to their children and talk to his children. That's just, you know, he's a good, good father, a good daddy. Um, So I I think that's about it for today. I hope that you'll subscribe. uh, And if you want to leave comments in the comment section below, please feel free to do that. Again, my website is VickiAdkins.com. It's V-I-C-K-Y-A-D-K-I-N-S dot com. Through that uh, avenue, you can also uh, get to my blog. I have uh, some things on there the Lord's given me. And just hope that you'll be encouraged today, today, tonight, whatever morning, whatever it is where you are. It's nighttime where I am. Um, I hope you'll be encouraged to know that God hasn't given up on you. Don't you dare give up on yourself. Don't give up on him. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy anymore. Don't live in the past. Don't allow yourself to be sucked into all the drama of everything that's going on around you or in the world. You stay in front of your creator and ask him to direct your paths, to show you what you need to see, tell you what you need to hear, to uh, show you where he wants you to go and what he wants you to do and how he wants you to be. And above and beyond everything, love him with all of your heart, your might, your mind your strength and love your brothers as yourself and that brothers sisters a love people love people even as you love yourself care for them god bless you thanks again so much for listening talk to you soon this is vicki atkins signing off for now bye-bye